Hello, hello everyone. I am making bone broth today. Um, I also went to Big Lots. I'll show you that. Big Lots is a discount store here. I don't know if you have it where you are. I'm in Washington State. My name is Kendra. And um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I do something different almost every day. Um, so uh, if you're not new, welcome back, friends. And um, please comment and consider leaving a thumbs up. That always helps me. So I'm going to show you how I make bone broth. And I think that your recipe for bone broth is like your recipe for chocolate cake. You know, every family has one, and this is mine. So what I do is I save my bones and my cartilage. I don't take them off people's plates if that's, you know, I, I think some people actually do that. Um, I actually um, take the bones off the meat and use the meat for another, sub, you know, thing. So nobody's been gnawing on these bones. What I did do to these bones is I put them in a roast um, pan, this pan right here, and I roasted them in the oven to um, help break down a little bit because we want the calcium and marrow and goodness to come on out, the collagen, everything that's in this. So I'm going to dump the bones into here. And this is a, a roaster quart, but I, I can put it on the fire and it, it cooks, you know, well. So I've got a little water in here already and I'll show you next. Uh, I'm going to have to put something down. Hold on. All right, now it doesn't really matter in what order you put all of these things, but this is how I'm going to do it today. I've got uh, fresh ginger, in my opinion, is better, but I don't have fresh ginger, and I do have this. So, you can see, I just put that much ginger in there. And then, I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar helps to, the ginger helps to give it goodness. The apple cider vinegar helps to um, take some of the calcium. That's about how much. I don't measure well, you know. So then I took two large carrots, peeled, washed, peeled, and um, chunked them up. So there's that. And this is just the, um, the tops off of uh, a fresh new celery. And if you can use organic vegetables, if you can afford to do that, it's always best. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends. And then I used one and a half yellow onions, and I chunked them up. And it doesn't matter because all of this is going to be um, sieved out. You know, I'm going to put it through a colander and take just the juice out in the end. This is going to cook for at least 24 hours. So, then we come over here to the, the chicken. Let me turn this off so I can actually get it loose. <laughs> there we go. I got the chicken in there. Let me show you this. So I save all of it. Now this isn't a bone, but what it is is um, heavy duty cartilage and that's good stuff. This is the wing, you know, the tip. So anyway, um, then lastly, I'm going to put in, not lastly, but second to lastly, let me show you. This is how I buy my garlic because we go through so much of it. Kirkland's, that's Costco's garlic, already minced. So I'm going to put one, two, Three. Three big, like, tablespoons, I guess, at least. Um, so, lastly, <laughs> I'm going to put in, here, another, there's already one of these in there, so I'm going to put in another jug of water. And um, I was going to say, I use the water out of our tap. It comes from our private well, and it's good stuff. Looks like I'm going to need more. Okay, here we go. This should do it for water, I hope. The last one. We'll see. It maybe won't. Okay. Now, this will cook way down over the time that it's being, you know, on the, you put it on low. Well, first of all, I'm going to bring it up to a simmer because I don't want it to sit here and just kind of take a, a warm bath and be food pies. And <laughs> I'm going to bring it up to a simmer and then I'm going to put it on low and it'll cook covered and I'll keep checking it. Oh, you know, ever so often. Um, I'll even get up in the middle of the night and check it tonight because I wake up anyway. So there we go. That's that. So there it is. Now I wanted to tell you um, the reason, I don't know if I even said this or not. I'm feeling woozy. Um, the reason that I make bone broth is for just for taste and for health. 
I believe that, um, you know, how they say chicken soup is, um, you know, the, the bomb if you've got a virus or, you know, the cold, whatever. Um, I think bone broth, in my opinion, is ramped up chicken soup. So I can take this liquid, I'll strain all of the veggies and every, the, the bones and all that out. And then I can take this and I can make um, the base for chicken noodle soup, chicken and dumplings. I just sip it out of a coffee cup when I'm not feeling well or when I'm dieting. It is so tasty. Now I didn't put any salt in it, but I will come along later and add salt and pepper. Um, you, you know, you do you, you season how you like. I'm just now spying, I've got whole garlic over there. I could have just thrown that in there. I always forget I have whole garlic because I hardly ever buy it. Um, so, you know, and like I said, everybody's recipe is different. So you might, if you are interested in this, you might like to go along and um, check out different <laughs> recipes on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to say anybody else's is better or worse. It's just how I choose to make it. Um, so, that being said, I'm going to go over here and show you what I got at Big Lots today. I had a ball. But first, here's the menu. How fancy is this? I've abandoned my big board. <laughs> okay, I just like to do it easy peasy today. Today we had takeout Chinese. It's Monday. And we can have these dinners any day of the week. It'll change around. And then sub sammies need to get made tomorrow because that bread from uh, Walmart does not last long on the counter. Then uh, the next day, beans and weenies. It's, it's a hit here, I'll tell you. The kids love it. And I just take, I got a package of hot dogs. I'll chop them in coins and I'll throw in some canned beans. And there you have beans and weenies. And sometimes I make cornbread to go with it. I don't know. Next day, I'm going to make chicken pot pie. I saw something on um, the internet <laughs> that I thought was an awesome idea for chicken pot pie. And then we've got a leftovers day every week. And then buffalo chicken wraps the next day. And then the last one here is kielbasa, cabbage, and onion. I love that, as do the others. Um, and I don't know. I think that'll be plenty. You know, they, they usually don't eat that much, and I end up with too many leftovers. I'm mostly an empty nester you know sometimes they all show up for dinner and it's a a shock <laughs> but um a lot of times they just don't so you get what you get i'm going to um i didn't say but when i finish this bone broth i'm going to put it in mason jars you know ball jars whatever and um stick them in the freezer and i use straight up no um goosenecked not goosenecked no um you don't want the kind of neck on the can, <clears throat> the jar, that has, it goes inverted up to the jar. You want it to be just straight up and down because when I put, when I put them in the freezer, even though I don't fill them all the way up, they crack if they have that kind of neck. So straight up and down necks if you're going to freeze it. And that's what I do. You could freeze it in anything. You could freeze it in big ice cube trays. You could freeze it in old pickle jars. You could freeze it in, you know those containers that are actually freezer containers. I've heard some people put it in um, oh, Ziploc baggies, like gallon size or quart size. I did that once and I had leakage um, when they thawed and I thought, no. So anyway, whatever you do, be careful when you freeze it and make sure you don't fill them too tall and don't you know fill them with the kind of neck that's kind of inverted there. Uh, you can also obviously um, use your uh, pressure canner. I want to use my pressure canner. Really, I do. I'm scared. <laughs> Somebody got to come walk me through it again. I mean, it's not like I've never pressure canned. I pressure canned, um, I think it was green beans and asparagus, maybe. I can't remember. But a friend down the road came to my office and I put on a class twice on how to use the canner. And I'm still scared of it. Anyway, that's that, and I'm going to go get those things from Big Lots. Okay, what time is it here? It's 9.36. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Oops, not that. This. Now you can hear me better. This has been going for several hours, and see how the bones are just breaking down, and the veggies are getting nice and soft. This will go all night long, and it's on low-low. And... I'm feeling good about it. 
yeah looks good I did add a little bit more water earlier um, I won't add any more water because I want it to be I want it to set up right when you get a good bone broth and it's cold in the refrigerator it looks almost gelatin like and that is from all of the um, oh now I can't think of the word in the uh, bone the oh well <laughs> old lady problems so anyway I'm going to put the lid back on this and we're good to go. I am so sorry. I came over here. You want to see the mess I left? Yeah, that's still from canning because I kept saying I was going to do um, the next thing and I didn't. And now I want to do cranberry relish. So that's what's coming up next. Anyway, here's my dirty sink. My dinner. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to sign off. You guys are going to have to wait to see Big Lots. Um, I've got to set it to music because, like I said, when you go into Big Lots, they blast the music and you can't really record without getting in trouble. So I'm looking forward to um, getting this one up for tonight. I'm just trying to think if there's anything. Oh, I know. I need to tell you that... Um, I enjoyed putting this up today. I always enjoy doing these. And if you enjoy watching them, I wonder if you might consider giving me a thumbs up. I also could use any new subscribers that would like to subscribe. I so love meeting new people. I think I have like 400 and something. I don't know. But anyway, new friends are always welcome. I hope that um, you have a really great evening because now it's evening, but you'll see this in the morning, so have a great morning. <laughs> I'm babbling. It's late. Bye. Mwah.